y'all. Like, look, it has been so long. And just as y'all can see, this is my last full week in uniform, baby. So I got a lot I gotta do. I gotta clear. I gotta make sure I maintain my mental health, child, okay? Um, and my last day is on Friday. But that being said, I do have a few videos that I have dropped before this video. Um, you know, my last week in command, my change of command. I think I'm gonna put my change of command speech up so y'all might be able to see that. So be sure to go back real quick, you know, pause this video, go back and see what's good with those and then come back and watch this one. For right now, child, um, I'm about to do my little morning routine and then I gotta go take a rental car back and um, yeah, just come with me, okay? Just come with me. Today is the 26th of July. So I'm hoping that I can get these videos dropped asap Um, I'm gonna start to post back on my YouTube and my Facebook. And if you haven't followed me on Facebook yet, be sure to go do so. We hit 15K, <laughs> baby. <laughs> I'm right. This is the rental car, my first little time driving the Challenger. Tell y'all, oh, and let me just tell y'all, I'm gonna tell y'all about how uh, I had to change the tire on this thing because it popped. All right, y'all, so I just got back. I'm about to go to the gym. I just got back from dropping my car off. So I dropped the rental car off, then I dropped my bins off. It's about 11.22. I'm about to get this workout in. Empty gym, you know the vibes, okay? But first things first. So y'all, I just got over COVID, so I'm trying to see what my body can do at this point. Um, but we are gonna get it in as best we can. Honey, silk milk, chaboni, yogurt, sea moss, triple berry. Let's go. Watching my girl D era. Hey girl. <clears throat> All right, y'all. So I am in a GOB, but baby, it's not my GOB. Um, because apparently, like the cylinder head on my GOB is kaput. So um they ran like the tests on it, everything, and then now they are 
going to have to order the parts and then take some time to install it. So, um, that's where we are right now. And then I was like this close to going to the pool, so that's where we're going. Um, that's where we're about to go after we go to Chick Fil A because I was sitting here like, baby, I need something to eat, honey. I need something to eat. Um, because I'm doing like this two smoothies a day or at least a smoothies taking up my breakfast and lunch and then dinner i'm doing like a healthy dinner so i'm gonna get like a little wrappy wrap from chick-fil-a all right y'all so got chick-fil-a we in them and so now we're about to head to the pool see the pool but first girl has got to get in something more comfortable. Out here, but y'all look, y'all can see my edges is still surviving, baby. Okay, they are still surviving. I'm using some puff and cuff edge control by puff and cuff, so they still slick. And I've been out here about 30 minutes. Good morning. So this is my last time wearing my PT uniform. And um, also I did my last PAI today. So I had to go in, show my ID and everything. And now they've convinced me to do my last PT session. So I'm going to go knock that out real quick. Oatmeal baby. So we got years ago, actually, probably like a month ago, actually, like I don't know how long ago, I learned about this. Shut up. Shut up. Cause what we're not gonna do is judge. Okay. We don't judge on this platform. We don't judge. His army doesn't judge, right? We don't do that because that doesn't make sense. Yeah, mix it up. Cause you know, gotta get that stuff in there. Gotta get that seasoning and that flavor in there. Yeah, so I recorded a whole thing, but apparently it didn't record. Anyway, got tea, some apples, and put a little apples in them. Yeah. And also, if y'all don't have this right here, y'all need to get it. Because um, it definitely helps with cutting apples, baby. Because I struggle with cutting an apple, okay? Let, Let me just say this. Right now, I'm sitting in my car after having, you know, took a shower. Put my uniform on. And cleared a few places on post. And yeah, baby. Like, some things should just be, like, seamless. But it, it just seems like when you are clearing or in processing, like, there's always additional steps to everything. Um, and so I had this feeling in medical, like, there was going to be some 
issues because every time I went to like an appointment or something there was always somebody clearing and they could never just clear the person it was always like did you do this did you do this? Uh, but none of my paperwork said that I have to do certain things so by now if you're following me on Instagram and if you're not please <laughs> go follow me at let's do the trees <laughs> okay but you know that I'm going through a medical board actually my medical board is complete so certain things I don't have to do as far as clearing goes well except exactly one thing which is a form that I have to fill out on med pros and then I have to have my physician review it before they can clear me and I clear in less than 48 hours like my final out date is in less than 48 hours make it make sense how that information isn't provided on the paperwork that they give you so that you can go ahead and have it done. You know what? Let me look because your girl, be, she been off today. She been off for a little bit. Checked out. So let me go ahead and look to make sure that I'm not tripping. Medical facility. Medac, go to your TMC. Documents needed. Medical record, PHS 731. First of all, they didn't ask me for neither one of those things. They told me to do a form on my, a MedPros. So how is this accurate? Like, I'm tired. I'm, I'm up and tired. And I hate it for the people who have to actually get physicals. Because, like, if I was two days from about to final out, shoot extend me because <laughs> at this point I'm not going to make it because it's not going to be had but anyway I'm back at the house I got a wax appointment at 1 but I'm going to go do this form and eat because I'm hungry and we'll see I'm tired y'all so we'll see if I take y'all with me to my wax <laughs> Well, being that it's restaurant week here, I'm going to the salt cellar by myself to give me a meal, honey. Good morning, y'all. Oh my gosh. So I've been clearing all morning, um, aka out processing. So I didn't hop on this because girl was like almost late out this mud. You know what I'm saying? Like I was really almost late. My body alarm clock woke me up this morning because I fell asleep last night. Like what? So I just barely made it to these appointments I had today. But anyway, so what's the plan all right so right now i'm about to go clear personal information and then let me shut this door going to clear personal information and then i'm going to my retirement briefing <laughs> and after that then i go to clear battalion so i mean it's not really much to really show y'all you know it's just a lot of paperwork and stuff and briefings and everything but i'm going to go to battalion potentially but i'm go to battalion potentially but i might get a meal i need to find a place for a smoothie because lunch smoothie you know yeah and i also didn't finish breakfast so this is what i got for breakfast <clears throat> got my orange and a kind bar i love me a kind bar y'all especially the cranberry kind it's giving very much yum anyway <laughs> 
so last few days y'all and i expected to be a little bit more anxious but i think i did the work earlier this week you know manifesting affirming writing in my journal taking time to really just spend time with me and it's been very smooth very smooth process but i think it all might hit me tomorrow so just pay attention okay also today is july 28th just so y'all know so y'all can keep track of these times and everything so see you back in a minute let me show y'all what i got first of all i got a freaking flag like uh, and i also got like Okay, I can't open it right now because I don't want to open it yet. But I also got like a little sticker, see? A little sticker. And like a little pen that says retired soldier for life. <laughs> like, are you kidding? And But this is what... Yeah, but this right here, this is what like freaking sent me to the roof. <laughs> sent me to the roof when I saw it. Let me just show y'all. Baby, wait. <laughs> Baby, wait. <laughs> Your girl got a certificate of retirement. You feel me? Like, are you kidding? Your girl's retiring. She's done her time. She's done her time. Okay, I gotta go. I was literally just telling myself, like, where have I been? I've been on Columbus Post, Fort Benning Post, since 2019. And not one time have I set foot on this job at a cafe. And baby, like, look around. This thing is beautiful. And it's clean. And it got very good healthy options. So, as my last hoorah to the folks that's here at Fort Benning, please come to this job at a cafe. And they got Starbucks in here. Like... Where was I? Where have I been? Uh, as y'all can see, I have changed clothes and now I'm headed to go get my toes done. Um, go to get my toes done. This will be my last time getting my toes done by the guy who's been doing my feet for the past freaking three years here in Columbus. So I had to get my last one in before I left. I'm also going to get my nails done tomorrow um by my girl who's been doing my nails since i got here um but yeah after i left you know after i left retirement services i went and cleared my battalion y'all everybody was like oh we're gonna ditch you thank you so much ma'am for everything and i was just like wow like i'm just so excited i was able to have like an impact on them the way that i did um so if y'all are watching this, I love you guys so much. And I miss you already. I'm gonna try not to cry tomorrow, but yeah. That's where we are right now. And um, I came home and I haven't ate yet, so I'm gonna try to get something to eat. Actually, you know what? I didn't leave retirement services. I left the job at cafe, so yeah. Um, but yeah. I'm about to eat this little bar, so when I come back, I'm going to have like the rest of the um, seafood salad that I had yesterday at Salt Cellar. And then from there, baby, I'm going to bed because I'm up to tie and I got to get up early so I can get dressed tomorrow for my last day of work. Today y'all, July 29th. <laughs> okay, so um, I feel okay. I just wanted to take some time this morning to actually get fully dressed and embrace the whole moment. That this was absolutely my last time putting on my uniform, you feel me? So this will be the last time officially that I, uh, before retirement, <laughs> that your girl will doff her uniform. 
and I will hang it up for the last time today, y'all. This makes me just wanna say thank you all for following me for my military content. Thank y'all for just being a part of Giz Army because the reason I started this thing don't cry, girl. Mm -mm. The reason that I started this thing was so that I could have an outlet outside of this military life. But I came to realize that this life, military, is a part of my life. So I have to include it in the things that I do. And um, you all embrace me 100%. You all embrace me 100% and you followed my journey until now and don't. <sighs> okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Don't think I take that for granted. The military will always be a part of my life. Soldier for life. I'm here for y'all. If y'all need me, if y'all need any advice, mentorship, anything, just hit me up. But I really just truly want to say thank y'all so, 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 so much for everything, for all your virtual support. Y'all have really made my time in the military. I'm pretty sure the best it could possibly be. And I love y'all for that. Truly. Uh, okay, now we got them tears out of the way, baby. I didn't think I was going to cry today, but see, it gets our me. Y'all get it emotional, okay? <laughs> Okay, we good now. We got our lives together. So <laughs> I made my smoothie, as y'all can see right back there. Made my smoothie. I'm about to go to the store and pick me up some flowers because I want to take pictures of my flowers and my retirement plaque to post on Instagram. So if you haven't followed me on Instagram again, make sure y'all go do that. And, um, you know, just kind of celebrate this moment. I don't really have anybody right here physically with me going through this last day with me. So I got me and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna celebrate this milestone y'all okay so come with me mm -hmm. y'all i'm dead ass trying not to lose my fucking shit like dead ass trying not to lose my fucking shit dead ass trying not to lose my fucking shit but this is the reason why i am so glad i'm getting out because it's pissing me off like shit just can't be clear how do how is it there's only one person that can do like my medical information He's been on leave for the past like week or so. No one has said anything. So regardless of if I would have did my, my freaking form weeks ago, he would have never gotten to it. Or last week, he would have never gotten to it because he hadn't been here. No one in the freaking place told me about that. And so I final out today and I can't even final out because I have to clear medical before I can do that. So I have to pretty much redo everything because if I'm coming in in uniform, best believe, best my motherfucking believe that my ass is getting my, my money worth for my days. Like, are you, are you dumb? Like, are you dumb? Sign me out on the days that I have not used and I'm going to make my money from that because I'm not playing with y'all. Like, so pretty much, Nia, today is not the day that I'm going to be using, um, that I'm going to be, um, finally out we thought so yeah I don't know when I'm gonna come back in here but thanks a lot army so I have decided that today is my last day in uniform it is it will be I'm gonna do what I plan to do today so I only have two more places to clear that's medical and out processing so once they're done with my stuff then I'm out of here all right so, with that being said, I'm about to go here to the National Infantry Museum and take some pictures with me and my plaques Stay back there um, of my retirement stuff, you know what I'm saying, so I can have some things to, you know, remember this time by. So, come with me. Mm -hmm.